with your host, Peter Bruno. Call 1-877-927-6648 to talk with Peter live. Now, Peter Bruno. And hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Wall Street Money Hour. This is your host, Peter Bruno. And the market right now, the Dow Jones Industrial Average, is up 313 points to 33,432. The S&P 500 is up 49.82. That's up 1.16%. The NASDAQ is up 193 points to 1.46%. Uh, in our, in our uh, program yesterday, we had mentioned that uh, when the market, actually the program before, we had mentioned that key resistance was at 43, uh, 4302, 43, uh, 4302, 4303. And as soon as we got up there, the market uh, fell apart and started to move down. And that was a trigger of resistance based on our algorithm analysis and uh, AI systems. And the treat today is that uh, at the half hour break, we're going to have uh, the person who has uh, worked and designed uh, the algorithm system based on the numbers that we created uh, and that 4302 level a couple of days ago. And then we also mentioned yesterday in the program that the market had to go down uh, 40 points or so down to the support level of 4240 area and uh, it got down uh, this morning to 42.42 based on the jobs report. Now the numbers that we give out are areas rather than a specific number. So 42.40 was an area, 42.42 was the low that was achieved on that uh, today's morning uh, session and the market was pretty wild after the uh, jobs report moving up and down with volatile and that's what we like. We like the volatility because then the volatility gives us an opportunity uh, to trade. So here we are in the uh, uh, when Megan comes on after after the break, uh, she's going to tell us about all three of our uh, mock action alerts for the Wall Street Money Letter uh, were triggered as buy signals, and uh, they were all up in price and. Uh, one, we're going to attempt to sell at a higher price because it's reached a short-term uh, resistance area. And uh, Megan will tell us more about that when she comes on. But for the time being, these numbers that we give out on this program, the 4240 uh, yesterday as a uh, downside target, minimum downside target, uh, it could have smashed through that down to 4220. Uh, down to 4,200, and the the uh, judge is not out at this point as to what's going to happen next week. Uh, these numbers still remain as major uh, downside resistance, and as we mentioned many times before, uh, our cycles are based on not only long-term cycles that we look at, but then we look at short-term trading cycles, and that's where we got the uh, 4,220 area and the 4302 uh 03 level but and that's for short-term trading and that's how we place our orders during the day but the most important thing is to understand if the market is moving up in a long-term cycle or the market's moving down in a long-term down cycle now i don't know about you but as far as i'm concerned uh before i buy an investment or i buy an index I just want to make sure that the long-term cycle is up. And if the long-term cycle is up, it means that any mistake that we may make in a particular trade, we're going to be bailed out because a long-term cycle deals with three steps up and two steps down, three steps up and two steps down. So in a three-step up process, you know you're going to get a correction. And when the corrections takes place, you don't have to run for the hills because you know that this is just a short-term down correction within a long-term up cycle. The opposite takes true in a down cycle, long-term down cycle, where you have three steps down and two steps up. 
I believe we're in that long-term down cycle now, as I've mentioned uh, over the last few days, and therefore in a long-term down cycle, you're going to have three steps down and then two steps up. Right now, we're experiencing the one or two steps up basis, and that's why we have a rally today with the Dow being up uh, over uh, uh, 335 points uh, and the S&P 500 up 53.72 points and the NASDAQ now up 206 points. And two of the stocks we have uh, in our uh, action alert for the Wall Street money letter uh, uh, are NASDAQ 100 stocks. So that means that they should be up and they did go up uh, today and we'll see uh, uh, what action they have and how much profit we're generating at this point based on the same short-term cycle analysis that we use and we share with you uh, on this radio program. Now, on the Wall Street Money Letter, uh, Wall Street Money Letter is uh, published every Monday uh, with a, 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 take a look at my screen here, uh, giving you a weekly market analysis and forecast. And that weekly market analysis would basically tell you uh, where we see the market going uh, the following week, this week, uh, the next week rather, and it will also tell you uh, what stocks are under consideration, uh, including the stocks that we had mentioned previously uh, that were under consideration that were gave us we gave you buy, buy point levels that you should buy the stocks at, and we also we give you sell levels to sell the stocks at, uh, regardless of win, of profits or losses, based on the fact that. We sent out an action alert uh, to the subscribers. Now, the action alert is when we come up with a situation where we believe the subscribers should buy an index or a stock, and we we buy it within our trading account. And if we buy it in our trading account, we send out an email to the subscribers saying, "Today we bought X Y Z at that price." Now, the subscriber has three choices. Choice number one, they call up their broker and they place an order to buy pretty much around the same price we're buying at. Uh, option number two is they can ignore it and say, oh, I already own uh, that stock. I don't need any more of that stock. And option number three is they could track it and see how well they would have done if they would have purchased the stock at the time uh, we recommended the purchase. And of course, that track record is very important because if you decided to ignore the buy signal that we gave you and the stock did go up in the profit, you would say to yourself, I would think common sense, I'm waiting for the next buy signal because the next time I get an action alert, I'm definitely going to be on board because I have more confidence now uh, than I had before uh, within the Wall Street money letter as to what to purchase uh, for my own account. Okay, so then uh, uh, now if, if we told you to buy a stock at a particular price, we're obligated to tell you when we sell the stock, win, lose, or draw. And we'll be right back after the short break. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors The Gold Report As a precious metal, gold is still king. 
It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. And welcome back to the Wall Street Money Hour. This is your host, Peter Bruno. And before the break, we were talking about the Wall Street Money Letter, which is a, a newsletter where we send out action alerts as well as uh, market commentary as to what to expect for the week ahead. Uh, right now, the uh, Dow Jones Industrial Average uh, basis the uh, the S the S and P uh, 500. Let me just get it up here. Uh, is up uh, 333 points. Uh, the S and P 500 is up 52 points, and the Nasdaq is up 201 points. And the MES, which is the or the ES, the S and P 500, is up 53 uh, point 25 points to 43.43. As we've mentioned in the previous program. When you're trading the S&P 500, which is a very active uh, uh, index, which we make a lot of money on and our subscribers make a lot of money on and you can make a lot of money on, it shows that if right now the it's up 52 points, that means for every point of buying the ES, which is the S&P 500 futures, you make $50. So... 50 points times $50, uh, you can add that up. Uh, however, we have the MES, which is for those new traders that are not too comfortable with making $50 a point or even, for that matter, losing $50 a point. If we were down 50 points, <laughs> it would be uh, 50 points times uh, uh, $50. And that's quite, quite a bit of a downdraft on your on your portfolio. Uh, so the the MBS is a, uh, a, sh uh, a more uh, coward way, <laughs> if you will, or let me say a conservative way of trading the uh, S&P 500. And as I mentioned, when I'm very confident in a particular move, I'll trade the EFs. However, if I'm not that sure, I'll trade the MBS. This way, if I'm wrong, I'm only losing five dollars a point rather than fifty dollars a point. Now the the energy level uh, CL is the uh, the oil index is only up uh, thirty seven cents to uh, eighty two sixty eight, uh, coming down from like ninety five ninety six. So you're waiting for a buy signal or an oversold signal on the energy, and it will have the potential, perhaps, 
of moving up back up to the O highs or uh, even the uh, $98, $99 level. Uh, but you have to wait. Uh, we have to wait our turn. Uh, waiting your turn is waiting for the signal. Even though you anticipate that something may happen with, with energy, and that energy can go back up to 94 95 $98 a share, why even take a chance? If you bought it yesterday at 85 you're now down uh, three points to 82.63. So we wait our turn, and therefore we buy when our cycles give us a buy signal to buy, and then it gives us price points to buy. For an example, today, the price point would be to buy at 81.79. Well, we're at 82.62, so uh, chances of it going down to 81.79 will probably be uh, good. And if it goes, gets down to 81.79, uh, we would probably buy it. If this was recommended and it hasn't been recommended within our, our action alert. Okay, you have the price of gold is at 18.46 now, up $14.50 $14, uh, based on our uh, our uh, uh, algorithm trading that Megan does, and she'll be on in the half of the half hour break. Uh, we had a buy signal to buy uh, the, the GC, which is the gold index, at uh, 1841, and it's now at 1846. So I'm not sure what the high or low was for, for the day of whether we would have purchased it at that price, but we didn't recommend it. And the action alert. And the reason for that is that I wanted to make sure I did this program based on uh, stocks this week because there's no reason to follow the previous program, which was Larry's program, uh, where he basically talks about futures and commodities and so on. So I didn't want to uh, follow his program by talking about the same things that he was talking about. Uh, and perhaps we may agree or perhaps we may disagree, uh, but it doesn't matter. So uh, he doesn't talk about stocks. He doesn't trade stocks. So therefore, uh, I'll use this week to talk about uh, our stock index. However, on the Wall Street Money Letter, you have uh, in the action alerts that we send out, you have proprietary trading formulas. If you look at our screen, uh, and we have the action alerts, and the action alerts cover all the things that we look at during the day prior to giving a buy signal, uh, including the exchange traded funds, the short term stock trading strategy, index futures trading strategy, which is what we were just talking about with the CL and the GC and the ES, and then the low price stock, New York Stock Exchange strategy. We talked about that. In the past, usually there's a January effect. Uh, stocks are sold in November and December uh, to take a tax loss for the rest of the year. And then back in January, they're bought back. So stocks on the New York Stock Exchange uh, usually go down uh, prior to the end of the year, and then they move up, and our cycles are able to identify uh, that system. I had mentioned that the system was brought to us about 25, 30 years ago by the late and great John Shoyer, who was on New York uh, radio, WMCA. And he basically told a story about how uh, a friend of his was buying stocks under $5 a share, doing the analysis, and every time they got under $5 a share, or even going down to $4 or lower, he, they kept on adding to uh, the position. And as we mentioned, statistics show that one third uh, stocks go out of business. One third of the stocks become uh, favorite stocks again. And one third of the stocks uh, do nothing. They just uh, trade flat. Uh, I came out with a newsletter called the Wall Street Money Tree newsletter. And uh, the Wall Street Money Tree newsletter was what uh, was named that uh, uh, basically to uh, a, a, a hand and cheek uh, for my my dad uh, because when I was uh, a young kid I was coming to the house and say hey dad I want to go to the movies G give me a dollar I want to take my friends as well and he would say sure Peter go in the backyard and there's a money tree help yourself and then I would come back in the house and say hey dad there's no money tree he says that's exactly what I was trying to tell <laughs> 
<laughs> I never got that dollar. So I came out with the newsletter called the Wall Street Money Tree, and we bought stocks in December. And in January, the portfolio of 10 stocks were up about 40, 140%, including Xerox, which was a out of favor stock at that time, which uh, uh, became a, a favorite once again. Okay. Uh, uh, I don't know if we're close to a break yet, uh, but I'll, you'll let me know. Okay, so anyway, that's the uh, the low price stock in the New York Stock Exchange of the newsletter, and then our strategies continue with overnight futures trade and uh, options trading. And that's the one. Okay, when we come back from the break, we have uh, uh, Megan Ramsey, our director of algorithm research. Fine. Team and we'll be right back. has just launched their new trading room, the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with the Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In the Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF FNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. And welcome back to the Wall Street Money Hour. This is your host, Peter Bruno. And as I mentioned previously, We've been doing this, I've been doing this for over uh, 50 years of fine-tuning our original form of research analysis, which is proprietary and unique, and that's worked very, very well. I like to call it a, a money-making machine. And you would think that if we, our family has such a uh, head up on the overall markets and being able to forecast the upside, 
and the downside of the markets that uh, your daughter and your granddaughter would want to follow in your footsteps and create uh, additional uh, money-making opportunities for themselves. Well, you may remember that my daughter, uh, Alan Ramsey, was doing a buy-sell radio program, uh, which is the most popular program here in, in not only in South Florida, but she was the youngest financial talk show host, and uh, she was doing a buy, sell, whole radio program. Okay, she went on to become a PhD uh, and is working at Lynn University as the head of uh, online trading and uh, getting accolades every day for the uh, performance that she is doing for uh, Lynn University. And frankly, that's her passion and I respect her passion. My granddaughter uh, graduated uh, undergrad in a, a three-year program in two years, and she graduated with a summa cum laude, which is the highest uh, uh, recommendation that you can get. And right now her passion is in uh, mastering, right now in the master's program for clinical mental health. And she wants to be a therapist in the counseling for mental health. And uh, she works with me, as well as my daughter works with me. But uh, she is in charge of algorithmic trading uh, using AI. And I tell you, these, these younger people today have such a hands-on with the current technology that's available. So let's uh, bring Megan on and say, welcome, Megan. Welcome to the Wall Street Money Hour. Hi, Peter. Thank you for that introduction. Okay, well, Can well, you hear welcome, me all Megan. right? Yeah, this is the first time that uh, uh, you're on the program, although uh, at one time you did a commercial for me when I was doing radio uh, here in South Florida. And uh, how old were you then? Do you remember? I had to be around seven or eight years old at that point. Okay. And the commercial had to do with speaking to uh, the parents and grandparents about getting involved <laughs> with our trading cycle so they could afford the expense of uh, their children uh, going to school. And uh, that was a great commercial. We got a lot of uh, comments about that. Okay. So we want to go through... Mm -hmm. The recommendations that we made uh, in the uh, Wall Street Money Letter action alerts, and maybe uh, I, I can have you take over uh, from this slide here. Sure, I'd be happy to do that. There is a bit of delay. I'm checking that we are on the recap for the issues under consideration. Yes. Okay, great. So on the program the other day, we showed this table of Amazon, Visa, and Netflix, which we were suggesting for the listeners to purchase at the different price points that we had in the rightmost column, the trading strategy column, the ones highlighted in green, which were all except for the 125.15 Amazon, they all executed. So that'll bring us to the next slide with our open positions as of today. So all three of these stocks are in a profitable position. We have the recently updated current prices here to show Amazon was purchased at an average price of 126.125, and it went up to 127.51. Visa from 229.66 to 236.16, and Netflix from 374.03 to 380.95. So right now we are suggesting that if you purchase Amazon and Netflix to continue to hold these positions as we believe they will continue going up and we will update with that in the future when we have a recommended action to sell. But right now, Visa, we are recommending that you sell if you did purchase it because it has hit our resistance point. That brings us to our next slide, specifically for Visa, where our price point that we are targeting for selling would be at 236.72 for you to place the sell order. Do you have some updated projections on all of these stocks on this next slide here? If you have purchased Visa and you would like to have it instead as a longer term hold, 
position, then we have a projection for 250.22 as our long-term overbought price. For Amazon, in the short term, we have a target of 133.46 with a longer-term projection of 146.09. And Netflix has a short-term projection of 392.09 and a longer-term projection of 450.64. I have been happy to share these updates with the listeners and to be on this program today. And I will hand it back to you. Great, thank you, Megan. And uh, one, one, one last question is uh, a couple of days ago, you told us that the key resistance for the ES would be at 4302 for that particular day. And we got up to 4302 or 03. These are average areas. And after it got there, it collapsed 20, 30 points. Uh, then yesterday, we said that the downside target was at uh, 4240, and we got down to 4242. Uh, uh, so, therefore, uh, could you give us some projections that you configured for uh, the market today? Right now, we're at 4352.75 basis the ES. So, how high do you think it could go today? Um, some of the projections that we have today for the ES for how high it could go is 4359.44. Okay. And and how about if this market turns around? Right now we're up 62 points on the ES. What if, uh, uh, what if we reach the 4359 and it suddenly key resistance and starts to move down again uh, into today or maybe into next week? Uh, how far down? What it, could it go? Right now, we have a projection for 4288.69. Fantastic. Okay, so these, <laughs> these these are great numbers to keep in mind to place our sell orders at uh, 4359 and uh, place our buy orders at 4288. I did that exactly this morning, not these, these specific numbers, but because I knew that at 8.30, there was going to be a jobs report number, and the number would uh, cause a lot of volatility. Uh, it was amazing as my buy orders, based on your numbers from last night, were executed, and then suddenly the market went up and the sell orders were executed as well, making money on both sides of the market today. Megan, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it very much, and we'll be right back after this break. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. 
Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold. Traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back to the Wall Street Money Hour with his host, Peter Bruno. And we thank Bacon for being on, on the program today. And uh, you can see up on the uh, screen here, we have uh, uh, her information, Megan Ramsey's uh, intrigue with the stock market ignited at a young age, culminating in her impressive academic uh, journey, including a three-year bachelor's degree with Summa Cum Laude Honors. At the Institute of Wall Street Studies, Megan's exempt from the statistical research analysis. The director of research signifies her transformation impact, leveraging advanced technology and artificial intelligence. She developed algorithmic trading systems known for the 93% accuracy and the profitable trades that we've made, and uh, so on and so forth. Well, you know, it's, it was amazing. She, she, did, she did very well. Uh, in the interview, and uh, she seemed to be very, very poised. Uh, I think she was recommending that we sell uh, Visa at 236.72. Uh, currently, it's at 236.47. So remember, I said this is an, an area, not a specific number. So the 72 may never be reached, but if those of you that did follow our recommendation and that 236.49, up three points uh, for Visa. Uh, I wouldn't be shy about taking uh, profits uh, at this point. A profit is a profit. As uh, 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 some famous person back in the 20s said, oh, it was Bernard Baruch. Bernard Baruch said that his biggest problem was leaving money on the table or selling too soon and crying all the way to the bank. Uh, well, <laughs> Crying all the way to the bank at that point meant he was making money. And uh, so he, he can't get the last tick. I don't think anyone can get the last tick of a buy or a last tick of a sell. You know, but Megan's uh, 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 Megan's interview today, where she was very calm and collected, uh, made me very proud because years ago, I had my brother visiting the radio station when I was doing the uh, Managing Money radio program here in South Florida. And I had him as a guest, not as a guest, but he had him sitting next to me as I was doing the, the radio program. And at one point I said, you know, I have my brother here. My brother, uh, many people probably don't know, he's a urologist, a doctor uh, out of uh, Garner City in New York, retired now and uh, achieved quite a, a reputation as uh, being a top uh, urologist. And since, since he was sitting next to me, I wanted to involve him in the program. And I said, you know, I have my brother here. He's a urologist, a doctor, and so on. And Tony, maybe you could tell us a little bit about some pharmaceutical stocks that you think are up and coming. And I think the blood drained from his face, and he said, no, you know, like he no way signal by his hands uh, that he didn't want to get on the program and he didn't want to speak on the program. And there are people that are comfortable uh, speaking on the air as evidenced by Megan's uh, 
uh, presentation today, but there are some people that are, will freeze. Uh, they're not very good at public speaking and they're afraid to uh, speak in public. And perhaps my brother was, was one of them. So I, I respected his opinion and didn't bring him on the program or talk about the pharmaceutical stocks. And then we got home that night. We were all having dinner at my mom and dad's house and uh, telling them the story. And my, <laughs> and my mother looked at my brother and says, are you kidding me? You know, you, you, you went to so much schooling and you've achieved such a, an accomplishment uh, as a, uh, a doctor and you were afraid to be on Peter's program and talk a little bit about uh, pharmaceutical stocks. You know, I, I guess my brother put his head down <laughs> being embarrassed, but I respect that because I know, you know, there are people that get very nervous when it has to do with, uh, with, with public speaking. Uh, when I was training director of a company called Loeb Rosen Company, uh, when they made me training director back in the, the early 70s, I had suggested that uh, they pay for sending me to a Dale Carnegie course. And a Dale Carnegie course, obviously, for those of you who uh, may remember, and I'm still around today, uh, are, is a course to teach you public speaking. And usually when people from firms uh, fail in any presentation that they may make, the company sends them to a Dale Carnegie course to, to learn how to speak uh, publicly. And so I attended the Dale Carnegie course. And uh, after attending the Dale Carnegie course, I was chosen to be what they call a graduate assistant. A graduate assistant is one that goes through the program again, assisting the instructor. And the way you assist the instructor is the instructor says, next week we're going to talk about uh, giving the talk using a, a visual aid and to show you how to properly use a visual aid in your presentation, let's bring up our graduate assistant, Peter Bruno. Okay, and I would go up and I would give a, a presentation showing them how to, you know, how to use a visual aid. So as training director, when I got back to the firm after my stint with the Dale Carnegie uh, courses, I decided to have a program for supervisors and managers on effective speaking. And I would have a class of supervisors or a class of managers, and I would go through the routine of telling them what topic to talk about, and I would call them up to the front of the room to give a talk. And I could not believe that some of these people, that even if I asked them simple questions, you know, how long you've been married, what's your wife's name, how many children you have, just to get them comfortable with speaking, they were giving me false answers. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't even know how many kids they had or what their wife's name was because when you get nervous, and I'm, I'm sure some of you in the listening audience that may have experience, uh, you know, uh, getting frozen by public speaking, uh, you know that something happens to your brain waves that you just freeze. You get so nervous and you don't know what, what, you're, you know, what you're doing. So uh, I have a great deal of respect for those people that uh, – are nervous when they have to speak publicly, uh, and uh, uh, and not all of us not all of us can do that. Uh, you know the biggest uh, uh, criticism that I've gotten uh, thus far, and this is from family uh, criticism, actually more than family, just my wife, is telling me, you know, when you're talking on the air, you're giving a lot of word whispers, uh, like ah uh, and ah uh, and so on which is, of course, is a habit you know, we, may, we may all have. And, and frankly, my concern right now is giving you specific, correct instructions and forecasts on the investment markets rather than worry about my presentation of saying, ah, uh, and so on. I promise you I'm going to work on that. Maybe I'll work on that this weekend to try to see how I can do a presentation without uh, thinking and pausing before I, I say something that is uh, necessary to, to speak about. I guess we're at the end of our program, I believe. So uh, the S&P 500 is up 63 points to 4352. And these are at 
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. And we're back on the Wall Street Money Hour. This is your host, Peter Bruno. And uh, before the break, we were talking about the uh, Wall Street money letter, uh, which uh, at the point we were sc sc scrolling down on our uh, site here to uh, uh, overnight 24 hour future stock trading strategy, which is available. Uh, that means at 6 p.m. at night, the futures start trading until 8 o'clock the following morning. And there's not too much volatility until 3 p.m or 3 a.m. in the morning where uh, the Europe uh, comes on to uh, uh, start trading, and that's when you get a lot more volume and volatility. We also have here is options trading strategy, which we mentioned uh, yesterday that our option trading strategy uh, prefers selling put options on stocks that are oversold and that we're willing to buy at a certain price. And so if we would have purchase the put options on Amazon or sold the put options on Amazon, Visa, or Netflix. Here we show that the average price bought was 126.12 of Amazon. Current price was 127.51. Visa, 229 to 238. And Netflix at 374 uh, to 380. Uh, the idea is when you sell a put option at a uh, support level, 
uh, as the stock moves up, as all three stocks have moved up, in our example here, the put option declines. So if you sell the put option at 440, which we gave an example of uh, selling Visa uh, a couple of days ago, uh, you can buy that put option back that you sold at 440, buy it back at three dollars and making a dollar 40 per option. Now the risk, of course, is selling a put option in your account is that you have to have enough money in your account in case you get assigned that stock and that's the disadvantage so you need uh, enough money in order to do that uh, we're going to be back uh, next week same time uh, please tune in and tell a friend if you enjoyed this program are you ready to take your trading to the next level Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom